this time, we'd like everyone to rise, remove your hats, and join us as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast coming to you live from Caston High School, where your cast and comments are hosting the Culver Cavaliers. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Pete Duvall. Pete, welcome. Oh, I think we got the wrong headset here. We'll try that again. Welcome, Pete. Welcome, Blair. <laughs> it's a great night to be here at the launching pad. Absolutely is. Uh, going through our starters real quick, our visitors are starting number three, David Height. Number 12, Jack Rogers. Number 22, Logan Caudle. Number 20, Jonas McEwen. And number 23, Adria Glosp. The uh, Cavaliers are coached by former casting coach Kyle Evans. Uh, so obviously there's going to be some... Uh, I, we, we don't have any of uh, his former players on the roster anymore, but I'm sure there's still that little bit of a, uh, well, we're going to show him what he left. Starting for our comments, we have number four, Talon Zider. Number 11, Caleb Stinson. Number 12, Alex Craig. Number 15, Lane Hook. And number 21, Grant Yaden. The comments for the last seven years have been coached by Carl Davis. We look forward to him coming up and uh, giving us a post-game wrap-up at the end of the contest tonight. This is a conference matchup as well, so ought to be interesting. All the guys on the floor should be playing really hard. Tips knocked around, Comet's gonna come down with it. Stenson to hook, Zyder, shot fake. Lane, shot off the mark. Now Stenson's gonna steal that one. He's gonna go up with it, off the mark. Gonna be another rebound for Culver. Looking to get across the timeline, Rogers. Working the Culver offense here. McEwen. Height. Pass down into Rogers tipped. Loose ball. Rogers is gonna get it. Thinks about a shot. He'll pass off to Height. Height drives. Shot up and in. High floater off the backboard to put that one in. Comets working against the press here. Long pass down to Grant Yaden. Just a little too long. Great pressure put on there by the Cavaliers. Cavs, full court pressure, causes a turnover. Now Comets looking to do the same with their own pressure. Oh 
Rogers stops with it, throws it down. Stenson picks that one off. It's going to be dribbled off of the, the foot of McEwen, and then it's going to be bounced off of Stenson's leg, giving the ball to the Cavaliers. Lots of fast turnovers, just over a minute gone. Rogers working near side. Pass up to McEwen. He's going to pass down into the paint. Just missed Height. Height didn't keep going on that backdoor cut, even though he was wide open. Comets inbound. Yaden with it. Now Comets got a two on one. Lob pass to Hook. Hook dribbles, puts it up for two. That'll give the Comets the first two points of the game for them. Height bringing it all the way down. High floater off the glass again. Lob pass down into Craig. Craig lobs that one up. Now pass by Yaden to hook, tip. Now Height brings it all the way down. He's going to put that one for, up off the glass for two. Comet's really struggling to get anything going on the offensive boards, even though they have some numbers. And now Rodgers is going to steal that pass and bring it all the way down. And we're going to have a foul here put on Alex Craig. That'll be his first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Rodgers will have to be careful there. It looked like when he... Uh, Went to go make contact. He did lower that shoulder, so we might be seeing some offensive fouls from him tonight. Flashback to the last game here where we had a visiting athlete nearly foul out off of offensive fouls. Was that the Frontier game? Yes. Can we never bring that game up again? <laughs> Rogers sinks both free throws given. Culver, a 8-2 lead here with 5.39 to go in the first. Tough pressure here by the Cavaliers. Good ball movement, though. Comets break that press. Now Comets going to actually work the offense here. Rogers steals that one. Puts it off the glass, off the mark. Rebound, off the mark. Rogers. Goes for the rebound, just tips that one in. Yeah, put Culver at 10 to 2. Comets lose the numbers advantage. They're going to reset into the offense. Zyder, three ball on the way. It's good. And he draws the foul. Rogers coming with a heavy box out, put a little too much pressure. That'll put Zyder at the line for the chance of a four point play. Don't see a lot of those. Let's see if we can make it happen. I don't have a number 22 on my roster. Uh, that's Logan Cotto. That is a okay. change. He was rostered to be in Jersey 15. Zyder completes the four point play, bringing the lead. The one's eight point lead down to four. Now oh, that's tipped. It's gonna be Comets, put that one up for two. Their pressure really working. Comets trap in the corner. Cavaliers are gonna break it. Height dribbling all the way down. He's gonna be out off of Cottell. Just missed it off the tips of his fingers. Getting news that both teams have five turnovers. It seems like it's been more, to be honest. Seems like every time one of the teams touches the ball, it's almost a turnover. Now Comets looking to break the press. They will. Molenkoff dishes it down into Hook. Great pass. And just like that, the Comets have tied it up. Ten all. Great athleticism but there by Rogers to get that one. Now Caudill takes a dribble. And he's gonna draw a foul on Caleb Stinson there. 
Good work by Stinson trying to draw the charge. Just didn't quite happen for him. That's two fouls on the Comets. First free throw just off the iron. Evans and Yaden enter for the Comets as Caudill lines up for his second free throw. Goes second. one for two. They'll put the, the Cavaliers back at an advantage. That ball slips through Molenkoff's fingers and that was an How was that not play. a travel? I, that was... I kind of thought so too, but. I mean, that was a great combat roll. That would have looked perfect on a wrestling mat, but how was that not a travel? Now it looks like we're gonna get a foul down here. Rogers misses the fancy layup. It would be on Mr. Rogers himself. That's his second, team second. Skip pass to Evans. Evans dishes it down to Molenkoff. Molenkoff goes up. He's going to get fouled. Just missing that layup. Foul there on 22. Logan Cotto, his first, team third. First free throw falls, tying the score back up at 11 as Caleb Stenton, Stinson enters the game for the Comets. Second free throw falls. Comets now up by one. Caleb McEwen enters for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers looking to break pressure. Comets could have had a steal there, but two Comet defenders clash into each other. Now Height drives, kicks. Caleb McEwen, that three's good. Two point lead back for the Cavaliers. Stenson struggles inbound, he'll get it in though. Molenkoff's gonna bring it down. Now Comets reset into their offense. Molenkoff, pass to Stinson, Stinson for three, that one's good. Well, if you're gonna trade punches at the three point line, that'll rack a score up quickly. Stinson knocks that long pass out of bounds. Armand Smith coming in for the Comets. High inbounds. He'll get it back. Start working the Cavalier offense. And we got Rodgers, far side. Yeah, use a screen there by McCute, or Cotto. Now Corbin Smith gonna get the rebound. Comets starting to bring the ball up. It's gonna be a pass into Smith, breaking that trap. Smith dribbles, kicks to Molenkoff. Molenkoff goes up with it, can't get it to fall. Pass tipped around, or rebound tipped around. Klinger comes down with it. Now Evans for three, and just off the mark. Good work there by the Cavalier defense, boxing, boxing out the cast and defenders down there. Offenders? Height for three. That one's in. And Culver is going to take their first time out. So we're going to step away, say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Cast of Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 
with just under two minutes left in the first quarter. Cavaliers lead the Comets, Comets 17 to 15. Uh, Cavs got out to an early, pretty big lead, and now they've, uh, after the Comets tied it up, they've been trading punches back and forth. Yeah, both teams shooting really well once they get the opportunity, once they get past the turnovers. Now Comets. Yeah, we've got a combined 11 turnovers here in the first quarter between the teams. Here you go. Evans working the offense. Pass the hook. Rodgers gets a hand on it to be out of bounds off of hook. There was a lot of contact on that. I'm almost surprised that Rodgers didn't pick up his third foul there. Yeah, I I definitely didn't think it was a foul. I was surprised there was a, of who it was called out off of, but refs have a little bit better view down there. Now McEwen to McEwen. Now Rodgers backing down. He's going to dish down to Cottle. Cottle off the mark. Stenson going to draw the foul from Cottle there. That'll be Cottle second, team fourth. Short pass into the, now Zyder for three, just off the mark. Hook with the rebound, off the mark. Corbin Smith with the rebound. It's be out off of the Cavaliers. Bad luck there for the Comets as they had a somewhat easy layup down there that was missed. Now pass almost into the backcourt. Zyder drives, kicks. Now hook, top of the key. Under a minute left here in the first quarter. Zyder may have gotten away with an extra one there, and now McEwen's gonna steal that one, bring it down, and Stenson's gonna draw a foul as he goes up to block the shot. That'll be Stenson second, team third. Jonas McEwen at the line to shoot two. First free throw off the front of the iron. Klinger's going to enter for the Comets. Second free throw off the back of the iron. Two Big air off. there by uh, Lane Hook to pull down that rebound. Smith drives. He's going to kick it out to Klinger. Klinger's going to kick to Zyder. Open three just off the mark. Craig comes down with the rebound. That's going to be a blocked shot. Height blocks it and sends it out of bounds. And Adria Guaspin for the Cavs. Inbound into Smith. He's going to dish it to Zyder. Craig. 20 seconds in the first. Comments. Klinger drives. He's going to get it tipped. He's going to dish it to Klinger. To hook to Smith. Pass tipped. Hook comes down with it. With seven to go. Lob pass tipped again. Three seconds. Zyder. One dribble. Puts it in the air. And that was good. good. Uh, All yeah. right, well, that's going to give the Comets a one-point lead going into the second. We're going to step away and say thank you to our sponsors. You're watching Casting Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Welcome back to Comets Basketball, coming to you live from Caston High School, headed into the second period here. Comets eked out a one-point advantage right at the buzzer at the end of the first. Big three-pointer there by Talon Zyder. Yeah, Comet's lucky to even get a shot off there after passes were tipped around and then Zyder was holding it there with three to go, but 
I they don't, found a way. I don't even think he had seen the clock, honestly. No, but the bench helped him out by yelling out that there was a, well, they just yelled for him to shoot the ball. <laughs> yeah, they just yelled, shoot. Now Rodgers will shoot deep three off the mark. Yaden's going to almost come down with the rebound, but Cottle's going to slip and fall and travel with it. Now Klinger to inbound. He's going to dip it into Yaden there as he cuts. Nearly countered out. Now this Cavalier's pressure is not letting up. No. Cavalier's playing really tough defense. Zyder dribbles around. Misses the shot. Rogers pulls down the rebound and brings it all the way back down the court. Goss in the corner. Now height up top. Gonna give it to McEwen. Back to height. McEwen down here. He's gonna give it back. Height's gonna drive, kick. Rogers. Now Goss. Rogers, far side, deep three, off the mark. You got a lot of, a lot of power behind that shot. Yeah. Klinger breaks the pressure. Now Yaden goes up with it. He's gonna get that to fall. That was an intense bank shot. And Comet's coming out to first score of the quarter with almost two minutes gone. Cavaliers did a really good job of taking time off the clock there. They worked their offense once again. Cross court past them, McEwen golfs in the corner. Ball's stuck. Let's see here, oh, <laughs> not quite. And there he gets it. Josh Evans back in for the Comets. Ball stuck in the rim. That'll lead to a jump ball. Comets get the ball. Zyder picks up his dribble. Now Evans picks up his dribble. Now Molenkoff, he's going to drive. Pull it out. Kick it to Klinger. Zyder in the middle. Puts that shot up. Just rolls in and out. Now Cavaliers gonna bring it down quick. High pass, Mc got Cottle. And that's gonna be a pass to McEwen that McEwen puts in for two, three. And McEwen had about all the time that a shooter wants out there on that line. Score now 20 all. Comet setting up the offense. Yaden loses control of it, gives it to Zyder. Zyder goes up with it. Gets it to roll off the front of the iron. Rogers bringing it up. 22-20. Five minutes to go in the first half. Rogers drives. Man. He's going to get fouled by Evans. I thought they were going to call a travel there. Evans pushing a little too much. That'll be Evans first. Team first here in the quarter. Number 20, Jonas McEwen is going to enter for the Cavaliers. Pass into Rogers. Rogers goes up with it. He'll draw a foul and the and one. That's Gavin Molenkoff picking up his first, team second. Substitution for the Comets, 15, Lane Hook into the game. Lane Hook back in for the Comets. Oh, 
Rogers shot in and out. Free throw just rolled. Now Comets working to break the pressure. Gaden in the corner. You know, pass to Klinger. Klinger for three. That one's good. Klinger giving the Comets the lead once again. Now Cavaliers working against the Comets. 2-3 zone. Pete, I think tonight's matchup is going to come down entirely to fundamentals and endurance. Comets pull down a rebound after a couple missed shots. Zyder's going to bring it all the way down. Height's going to get a hand on it. He's going to pull out the steal. Rogers drives baseline. He's going to charge. Great Yaden taking it. That'll be Rogers third, team first. And that's his third foul with just over half of the second gone. Zyder gets it across. Great passes there, threading the needle. Looks like a 1-3-1 one, one zone here now. Yaden gets his pocket picked. Rogers spin move, kicks it out. Goss for three. And just off the mark, Yaden comes down with the rebound. Comments once again looking to break pressure. Lob pass into Hook. Way too, way too high. And when you sail that over Lane Hook's head, it was way too high. <laughs> yeah. There's nobody else on the team is going to have even a chance to get in the pass like that. Cavaliers working. Rogers takes a break. McEwen for three. That one's in. Cavaliers tie it back up with three to go here in the first half. Now Comets working. They're going to pass into Evans. He's going to be tipped out of bounds off of Gosp. Corbin Smith and Caleb Stinson coming back in for the Comets. Stinson's going to look to inbound. Zyder passing to Hook. Hook goes up with it. He's going to draw a foul. And that'll be Logan Caudle picking up his third, team second. Hook at the line for the end one. Hook sinks that free throw to complete the three-point play. Getting three the hard way. And Coach Evans will take another 30-second timeout. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. You're watching Casting Comets Basketball here on RTC. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. Cavaliers looking to tie it back up. We're going to get a foul here. Foul on Alex Craig, picking up his second, team third. Good attempt at a trap, just a uh, bit too much contact. A little too much pressure. McEwen, he's going to drive, kick. Now we got the other McEwen. Now it's height up top. Goss to Rogers. Hook really working. Now Rogers drives. 
He's gonna, he's gonna get Rogers to travel. Slid that pivot foot. Pete, I gotta be honest, Rogers looks a little bit more like a wrestler than a basketball player. Yeah, he definitely, uh, you know, playing against him on the football field, I definitely, this is what I, this is what I thought when, when I saw him on the roster. Now, Smith, great, great passing by the Comets to get that open shot for Corbin Smith there. Assist to Caleb Stinson. I believe that this is the Comets' first multi-possession lead of the game. It might be. Now McEwen for three. Off the mark. Craig comes down with the rebound. He's gonna get stripped by height, but pulls it back himself. Now a wild pass into Hook. Hook puts that one up for two. Great ball movement once again by the Comets. They've now got a seven point lead. Just over a minute left in the half. Of course, let's face it, Pete, we've seen eight and 10 point leads evaporate quickly in this game. Yeah, Comets did it in the first quarter. Now, Cavaliers really working there. High paced offense, Rogers in the corner. He's gonna dip it down. Height, McEwen to McEwen. McEwen will drive to Height, Height open three. That one's in and out, unlucky roll there. Comets get it with 35 to go. Stenson gonna give it to Zyder, dishes it down to Smith. Smith, hook shot, puts it in for two. Now Cavaliers, their offense, they'll probably be able to drain this clock all the way down till they want the last shot. Height, Goss for three, deep three, puts it in. Comets get the ball back. They got three seconds. Corbin Smith, left-handed layup, puts it in for two at the buzzer. Well, after two, Comets now with a 36-28 lead over the Cavaliers. We're gonna step away, thank some sponsors. We're gonna get some first half stats lined up and we'll be back for a first half wrap up. Both teams playing a pretty clean game so far though, foul wise, even though Jack Rogers and Logan Cottle, they have all six of the Cavaliers fouls in the first half. And now Cavaliers working their offense, height for three, off the mark. He's gonna get his own rebound and give it to Rogers. Rogers gets blocked though. He'll get blocked again, but uh, Cottle will come down with the rebound. Thomas bringing it down quick, Stenson. Gonna drive, kick to Yaden. Yaden puts it up for two. Rogers gonna get the inbound. He's gonna pass it to McEwen. Now Goss, height. Rogers. Cavaliers really working that offense. Goss drives, spins, gives it to height. Now Rogers. Use the screen there. He's gonna drive, spin. He's gonna draw a foul there. Hook leaning a little too much on him. That is Hook's first, team first. First free throws up and good. Rogers is three for four on the night. Well, ref's gonna ask for a towel. Must have found a wet spot. Bold move by Coach Davis tossing a towel. They don't tend to fly very well. I should roll them up and really chuck them, and that doesn't look good when it's the official you're tossing it to. Well, in the, luckily, he was like a foot away, or else that towel would not have made it, because it, it did die pretty quick. Oh, that, there <laughs> like, we go. And we got that one on camera. <laughs> Rogers back at the line. 
Still at the line. One shot. Does it count as icing when the ref does it? Yes. As, it, as evidently it, as worked. It just proves. Oh, hook saves that as he goes off balance. Comets get it across the timeline. Now passing to Hook. Definitely got to watch these passes. Cavs proved in the first half they're great at initiating a turnover. Yaden missed Hook on the cut. Now Hook's going to drive, put that little floater in for two. First points of the quarter for the Comets. Now Cavaliers break the press. Yaden almost tips it from behind. Goss for three. That one falls. Comets with a six point lead with two minutes gone here in the second half. And there's no question that Guas can put some power on it from the arc, given the fact that he wedged his first shot into the rim. Yeah. And he can also put that power into a block as he picks up his first foul. And it went a little too hard in that steal attempt. Craig drew the foul. Wild pass into Zyder. Yaden. Stinson going to work the offense. Gives it to Craig. Puts it down low. One pass, two pass. Three ball on the way off the mark. Yaden comes down with it, though. He's going to shot fake, go up with it, miss. And then Cavs are going to tip it off of the face of one of their own players out of bounds. Insult to injury. <laughs> Gaden in the corner. He's going to dish it down into Hook. And Hook will put up a little floater, I guess. It wasn't really a floater, but uh, we'll call it that for the purpose of my comments. And now Cavaliers going to drive it back down. Comments back to an eight-point advantage. Rogers crossover, pulls it out, drives, kicks. Great tip there by Goss, saving that one. Now Rogers, we know he has power behind his shot, too. He's going to save it. McEwen, open three. That one. Wow. I couldn't tell if that went in to begin with. but That uh, net barely moved. Yeah. Banked it right off that far side of the iron. And it just sank right down. Now Comets looking to break the press. They will. Hook almost gets stripped. He's going to put that one up and it's going to fall somehow. I would not have put a single penny on that shot, Pete. No, that was... Uh, Interesting, to say the least. Rodgers working against Stinson. Height, drives, kicks. Goss. Goss. Ooh, Rodgers gets an open lane. He'll sidestep and that one will be off the mark. Hook's going to pull down the rebound. Stinson behind the back dribble there. He's going to dish it down into Hook. Hook puts that one up. Didn't get it high enough. Now Cavaliers bringing it down quick. McEwen drives. He's going to go up against Yaden. Yaden's going to foul him. Yaden picking up his first, team second. Hewen at the line. First one off the front iron. Smith and Molenkoff enter for the Comets. Second free throw off the front iron once again. Now Comets struggling with the rebound. He's, Hook passes it straight to height. Now Rogers pulls it down off of the pass and he's going to spin and put it in. Hook spins, dishes to Stinson, Stinson for three, that one's cashed in. Now Rogers bringing it up. He'll give it to Height. Cavaliers working their quick offense here. 
Rogers with it, far side. Puts up a floater and that one will fall. Nothing but net. Thomas lucky there. Stinson barely got in bounds. Ooh, Zyder, deep three. That one's just off the mark. Thomas tip it. And we're going to have a blocking foul called there on Stinson. That'll be his third, team third. Didn't quite get his feet set before taking that contact from Rodgers. Free throw is up and off the mark. Hook pulls down the rebound. All over him down there. Molenkoff dishes it down into Smith. Smith dribbles. Hook was open on the cut. Molenkoff takes a couple dribbles, dishes it down to Zyder. Zyder, shot fake, off the mark. Loose ball. Hook pulls down the rebound. Now Stenson, deep three. That one's in. Stinson pushing the Comets back to a seven point lead. No team has been able to get into double digits lead wise. Height, shot fake dribbles. McEwen to his, to the other McEwen. Now Rogers, far side. Jonas McEwen looked like he was seriously considering a volleyball line shot there. Rodgers drives, puts up that shot off the mark. Smith comes down with the rebound. He's going to give it to Hook. Now to Stenson. Stenson. He's going to give it to Zyder. Zyder cross court pass to Molenkoff into Hook. Hook passes it down to Smith. Smith pulls it down. He can't get it to fall. It's going to be a loose ball. He'll, Smith will get his rebound, though. Now Stenson. 90 seconds left in the third. Comets reworking the offense. Molkoff thought about the three. Comets really moving the ball around. Loose ball. Molkoff pulls it down. Couple of lucky grabs on loose balls. Stenson for three. That one's Man. fall. Can't ask for much better defense there from Jonas McHugh, and he had a hand right in his face. Comets will get that 10-point advantage now, though, with a minute to go here in the third. Ooh, Rogers drives, left-handed layup. Put that little touch on it. Comets pushing the ball around. Hook, Ooh, floater, that one falls. Just goes up with it and gives it a little, little nudge. It's hard to call that a floater when his hand's almost above the basket anyways, <laughs> but. Rogers drives, spins. He put that one up, underhanded. Can't get it to fall. Molenkoff pulls down the rebound. He's gonna bounce it. Hook wasn't expecting it to come his way at all with just 15 seconds left in the third. I can't get over the collective yell from the whole cast inside there yelling lane. It was, it was amazing. Now 10 seconds to go. Cavaliers gonna look for the last shot here. Unfortunately, 10 seconds, plenty of time to put points on the board. Rogers shot off the mark. All right, we will head into the fourth with Comets having a 10-point advantage. We're going to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comets Basketball here on RTC TV 4. Ten points, though, with eight minutes to play is still absolutely anybody's ball game here tonight. Oh, yeah, we saw that. Comets eliminated a almost 10-point de deficit in the first quarter. Of course, so. they ate up half of it with a single play by Talon Zyder. That is true. Evans, three. That one falls. Once again, great defense by Culver. Just 
better offense. Three by Goss off the mark. That's going to be over the back on Height. David Height picking up his first foul of the game. Culver's first in the quarter. Logan Cotto back in for the Cavs. Stenson going to bring it down for the Comets. Klinger passing to Smith. Goes right through his hands. Now Stenson goes up against Rogers. Rogers puts it above his head. Culver picking up right at half court. Very close to uh, backcourt violation there. Thomas really need to move the ball a little bit more. Clinger's got it near side. Molenkoff. In trouble, needs some help. Pass out to Stinson. Stinson for three off the mark. Another deep three. That's Stinson's first miss behind the arc tonight. Rogers spins, puts it up, can't put enough on that one. Smith comes away with the rebound. Stenson driving. Surprised he didn't call for fair carry there, but Evans puts up a three and that one's gonna be out of bounds as it goes off the top of the backboard. 58-47, minute 30 gone here in the fourth. Rodgers, far side, top of the key now to height. Back to Rodgers. Look at the screen there. Rodgers drives, puts up an underhanded layup. He's going to get that one just to slide in. Now we're going to get a full timeout here by Coach Evans. Well, that being the case, we're going to step away and thank our sponsors for helping us bring you this broadcast. You're watching Cast and Comments Basketball here on RTC TV. Comments inbound of the ball with six minutes to go in the game. Nine point lead now. Quick ball movement now. Stenson passing. Zyder to hook. Evans for three. That one's in and out. Hook pulls down the rebound, though. He'll put it right off the front of the rim. Lead back into double digits now. Rogers going to get called for a travel. Takes one too many steps there. He's had several near misses here tonight. And Alex Craig back in for the Comets. Stenson bringing it down, meeting the Cavalier pressure. I'm surprised there was no foul call on that. Lob pass into Yaden. Yaden, shot fake, goes up. May have gotten tipped. Now that one's going to be put in for two as he gets his own rebound. Rogers, deep three. That one's off the mark. Zyder pulls down the rebound, saves it by throwing it to Caleb Stenson. Stenson dribbles between two, dri between the back, between the legs. That was wild. Now Craig shot off the mark, though. Height gives it to Rogers. Rogers bringing it down quick. He will try and put a floater in, but Cottle will get the rebound. He'll put it in for two. Now a little bit of hard pressure there by the Culver Cavaliers. Craig. He won't take that open look. He'll dip it down into Yaden. Yaden's going to kick it to Hook. Now how are they going to leave Lane Hook wide open right underneath the bucket? That's the that's offensive ball movement right there. Height nearly got a pass to the back. Turned around just in time. McEwen drives. 
He'll spin, put it up, he'll draw a foul, and the ball won't roll in. Foul there on Alex Craig, his third, team first. First free throw off the mark. Molenkov back in for the Comets. McEwen looking for his second free throw here. That one is off the mark. Yaden tips it and he'll try and save it, but it'll go out of bounds off of him. Cavaliers gonna retain possession off the missed free throw. Right at half the quarter, gone here. Lob pass into Rogers. Yaden's gonna go up against him and foul him. Grant Yaden picking up his second, team second. I'm not sure, but from the sound of what was happening before that, I think that was a design play that the Comets knew. Now Rogers at the line, looking to complete a three-point play. And off the mark, but Height gets the rebound. Now Rogers is going to dribble off his own foot. Well, if I had a dollar for every time I've done that, Pete, well, let's just say there's a reason I don't play basketball. That a lot was a of contact. crazy inbound play. Cavs come away with it. Molenkov can't get there in time. Gossip hits that one. Molenkov in trouble, so coach is going to use a timeout to save the possession. And we're going to step away, thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast Commons Basketball here on RTC TV 4. Comets inbound. Height's going to foul Molenkoff there. That's only Height's second, team second in the quarter. Still a lot of fouls to give here in the uh, fourth quarter as well. Good ball movement. Zyder picks up his dribble. I don't even know that he was realized he was straddling the uh, timeline. Not sure who they're going to put this foul on here. Foul is on 23, Adria Guasp, his second, team third. Cavaliers getting their fouls up quick, though. Deep inbound, tipped by the Cavs. Height tips that. I'm surprised he didn't step out of bounds there. The Comets are going to get the ball anyways. Stenson, three. That one's off the mark. Yaden's going to come down with the rebound, though. Comets going to move the ball. Cavaliers really extending that zone for him. Three minutes on the clock, and I'm telling you, if, if I'm the comments, I'm moving the ball and I'm not taking a shot until it's just the perfect time. I was say, unless it's wide open, like that pass would have been to Lane Hook there. Now Rogers is going to tip that pass. Oh, it's inbound. We're gonna get a foul here. Is that on height, probably? I think so. Yeah. Yes, yeah, foul there on David Height. His third. Team fourth. There's only two people that foul could have been on height or Molenkoff. Comments inbound. Height gonna get that one after Goss tips it. Now Rogers drives. He's going to go up with it. Stenson pulled down the rebound. Long pass to Zyder. 
Zider. They thought he was going up with it. He'll dribble off of his foot, though. Stinson saving that was next door to a miracle. Yaden going to kick to Molenkoff to Stinson. Comets are really just working the ball around now. Oh, <laughs> in and out for Hook. In and out. Man, that was great offensive possession there by the Comets. Able to, able to burn the better part of a minute. Just lots of good ball movement and setting up for a good look there by Hook. Just couldn't get it to fall. Need to use the backboard. Now Cavaliers setting up their offense. High open three look. That one's off the mark. Long pass to Molenkoff. Now that's a three ball for Zyder. That one's cash. Comments back up to a double digit lead. 11 point lead. Deep three by Rogers off the mark. Comments gonna get the rebound. Benson almost takes the ball out of takes the ball and out of bounds himself, but he saves it right off of McEwen. And Comets will get the ball now. Just over 90 seconds to play here tonight. Comets on an 11 point advantage. We're gonna get a foul here on Rogers as he goes for that steal. And that does, of course, put the Comets into the bonus. Rogers picking up his fourth foul. A little bit of confusion here. Ref looked at the scoreboard a little too quick. Still had four fouls out there. Scoreboard operator down there needs to uh, quicken his ability to put the fouls on the board. I'll make sure I talk to him about that later. So I say, careful, baseball season's coming up. First free throw off the mark for Lane Hook. Just glad that's not his full-time job. Hook second free throw will fall. Thomas Hustle back on defense. Rogers lowers his shoulder, puts that one up. He's going to use the bank board to put that one in. Eight o'clock at night, and the bank is still open. Yep. And uh, Coach Evans used the bank to withdraw another timeout, so we're going to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Cast of Commons Basketball here on RTC TV. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our Comets. camera appears to have frozen. That's fantastic. There we go. Lane Hook go, takes it down and puts two on the board just as the action unfreezes from the camera. Zyder swats him. Now loose ball, McEwen's gonna get it. Now he'll pass down into Cottle. Cottle will put it in for two. We're gonna get another timeout here by Coach Evans. That'll be his last timeout of this game. Believe it's a full timeout, so we're gonna step away once again. Stay tuned, Cast and Comets basketball on RTC TV4. Comets looking to inbound the ball. It's gonna be, we got a, we've got a five, five second, second call. violation out there. They're not going to give him the timeout. They're going to say it was five seconds before the timeout. Comets. Loose ball. Evans gets it. He's going to stop, put it up for two. Now Molenkoff going to come down with the rebound. And he's wow. Get fouled. I, uh, I was waiting on a, some sort of foul to be called down there. I figured it'd be a foul or a travel as Molenkoff did start to come up. Foul there on number 11, Caleb McEwen, his first. Little irrelevant though with the comments already being in the bonus.
First free throw up and good. Val told me over here that uh, the Cavaliers are four for 15 from the line. And I can't say much because there was a recent game where we were <laughs> just as bad. I've got to say our free throw stats tonight so much better. And uh, once again, second free throw good. Games are won and lost on fundamentals and those free throws are certainly one of those. Cavaliers really working quick now. Rogers loses control of it. He'll go up off the mark. He's gonna pull down his own rebound off the mark again. McEwen off the mark. Stenson comes down with the rebound. He's gonna get step on the line. McEwen even thought he fouled him, but uh, Cavaliers get the ball. Caudill comes in, 12 point lead for the Comets with 30 to go. Pass in to Go Gosp, shot off the mark, miss rebound. Now we're gonna get a foul here on the Comets. Foul on the floor. And that's on Grant Yaden, picks up his third. Team third. And Caleb McEwen back in for the Cavs. Thirty seconds to go, twelve point lead. Lob pass into Rogers. Rogers shot up and in. Comets. Pass into Yaden. Pass to Stenson. Stenson's got time. He's going to lay it up. Barely moving the net as the ball comes down. I mean, that was a beautiful layup, but I feel like it was a, a kind of a waste. Yaden's going to get fouled by Height. Height picking up his fourth. I feel like the better play for Stinson would have been to get the ball across the timeline and then go back to a good ball movement play like we saw earlier. And up by up by 12 with that much time, up by 10, whatever it was, it's you're not too worried about doing too much. Our scoreboard operator finally took away the extra foul that didn't really need to be up there since the bonus is now at five. Comets sending everybody back. Even though with a 12 point lead in six seconds, you don't expect. The first free throw is good. Yaden looks for somebody to high five. Nobody's there. <laughs> Second free throw just falls. Here you go, Rogers. Pulls up. That one's off the mark. McEwen throws that one up, and that's going to be off the mark. <laughs> All right, your final score here from Caston High School. Caston 76, Culver 62. We're going to step away and uh, thank our sponsors once again. We're going to get some game stats put together, and we'll be back with a post-game wrap-up and an interview with victorious coach Carl Davis. You're watching Caston Comets basketball. And this is RTC TV4.